Welcome to this guide to cable yarding and winching on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition Silver Run Forest with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right oh then, let's have a look, shall we? I've been so excited since I heard about this coming up. Um, cable yarding. And we'll have a look at a little bit of winching as well. Cable yarding and winching. What's it all about? How does it work? This is a kind of guide to how to. I've had a look already. Um, but there might be a couple of bits we kind of find out along the way. There are a couple of pieces of equipment with the Platinum, Platinum Expansion, Platinum Edition that do this. In front of me, we've got the Kola K300T plus SCAR 1-7. This is three slots to download, or three slots to buy. It's 500 metre length, but this one only works uphill. So you set it up at the top of a hill down and you can winch up it i mean i suppose technically you could winch down and drop it to the other end um but it's designed to be set up from the top of a hill and going down um, the other one we're going to have a look at is the curla k 307 c h and eco or echo flex should i say that's 11 slots 840 meter length this one's got 1.5 meter uh, 1.5 ton limit the other one's got a three ton limit so this is how it comes. You'll find them under forestry equipment. If we scroll along. So, there's the K300T, 38 grand. Slot count of three comes down to one. The 307C is 95 grand, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, and that's 11 slots comes down to one. There's no option on the 300. You get it just like that. On the 307C, We've got the option to change tyres and number plate. That's all on that one. Um, now, the hill I've got these set up on isn't that steep. Actually, we'll go back to forestry because the other thing we're going to have a look at was the couple of winches. Um, we've got the EGV65AHK um, SG and the DWP186. So these have winches on them, as you can see single winch cables but we have also got some vehicles that do the same thing if we go to forestry equipment on here and scroll across we will get to here we go the uh, fans out pm track three if you go for the option here on the back that's got two two winches on the back of it uh, the fans out felix has two on the back of it As does the uh, Koch and the Rauta K300R, has two on the back of it. Now that can take multiple logs. Now this is not a mod review specifically of those. This is how to use the cable yarders. The winches is just kind of throw that in as an extra thing. But we do have some options on these to have it uh, with crane and blade, just the crane standard like that. We can change tire options to that. But let's say that's, that's not what this one is specifically about. So that's how it comes. Let's jump in that. This is the fan cell, um, PM Track 3. I've just taken the crane off it and the rear winch thing. Just thought I'd use it because it's a new bit of kit. Now, we can pick it up, transportation, we can fold the yarder, and that's how we can take it to and from wherever we're going. When we get where we're going, unfold, lower it. Now, you can leave it attached, and I think it has to run attached because the PTO runs everything for the winch and stuff. However, it did give me the option when I detached it to attach the cable yard but we'll leave that on there for the time being we'll hop out if you want the engine to keep running you need to make sure you've got automatic engine start um, off so when we come over to it here we've got the option now to set up yarder rope if I press L3 on PlayStation control depends what control you're using we can run this out and we need to find a tree I've taken the liberty of cutting some trees down already just to, so we can do this so we get to here, for example, this one. Ah, not the right angle, really. I'm sure, that's the one I used last time. Ah, oh, there we go. Does that come up with it? Ah, oh, there we go. So, that one there. That's interesting. Why did we not do that? How high up would I have to go on that?
But as you can see, you're getting messages. It's telling you what you can and can't do with it. That looks like it's the one that's going to work for the time being. So, set tree as rope target. If I press circle, boom. My cable is attached to the tree. That's interesting because it goes right past that. Anyway, never mind. And then when you've done that, it attaches all these cables either to a ground peg or to other trees. Like so. It's, it's amazing how this works. It's really incredible. And then we've got our little um, carriage on here. So we've got a few options now. When we come over to this, I can go to enable carriage follow mode. So if I press L3 now, wherever I go, wherever I walk, that will follow me. If I press L3 again to disable that, and go R, um, R1 and right stick side to side, I can move the carriage manually. So I could just stand up here and send that carriage off. So if you're working with other people, you could be at the top operating it. You could have someone else further down if you're on multiplayer. But because I'm on my own, we'll have it on follow me. Enable carriage follow. So if I go down the hill, don't find those will be too far out now. We're about to find out. Stop there. Disable that. Now, what should happen? Depends how far the logs out are. Is it going to reach? It is. So, when we get to our logs, that's actually quite a long way out. I didn't think it would reach. If we go like that, go over to the log. And then attach to tree yarder. Boom. Attached. We can do multiple trees as well. So we don't have to do one. I can run multiple as long as I don't exceed 1.5 tonne. Attach tree to yarder. And hopefully that will work as well. Attach tree to yarder. So... My cables now run out from the carriage to my three logs that I've got down here. And what I can do is if I go to R1, lift and lower trees up or down. So what I need to do is lift it. So that pulls the cable in on moving it at the same time. I'm going to back into position so you can see it. There we go. So we're lifting it. It's because it's on the same controller. There we go. And there's our trees. Lift it up. Now again, I can either have it follow me. I can do that and move carriage um, manually. So and do that or that to move the carriage manually. Or I can put move carriage to yarder. So I can just do that. L3. Off it goes. Let it go past that tree. Should do. Off go the logs up to the yarder. When it gets to the yarder, I've got an option here now. I can either just detach the trees. I can lift and lower them again. So if I want to be a bit more dainty and a bit more careful about it, I can lower them into position. You, you ideally want them to get right up onto a flat landing. So yarding area, you want to be flat. You don't want to be disconnecting these and then them rolling off down the hill or anything like that. Uh, and then if I go up and again, detach trees job done. Trees have been detached. I can reattach them if I want to, if I'm not quite in the right position, or I decide I want to put them somewhere else or something like that. I absolutely can. So that's the smaller of the two. So like I say, we've got the option to follow me, move it manually, or just send it on its way. That one, move carriage to last position, press R3. So if you're doing a lot of logging in the same place, you can do that, send it back off down there. And that will go to wherever you last were when you hooked up. <laughs> it's amazing. Absolutely incredible. What I'm going to do, turn the engine off on that. And we're going to head down the hill. Because the next one we're going to do is the larger of the two. Cola K K307. So this is a little bit of a bigger prospect. This one can work up a hill or down a hill. Doesn't matter where you set it up because it's got a slightly higher tower. So it'll work a little bit better. I'm going to start the engine. Unfold the yarder. Now once set up, it runs just the same. Now I got this actually, this one would work as well. If I detach that and get out of the way. 
I'm going to take the cable right up the hill and we're going to attach it to a tree. Now what you want to try and do as well when you're setting these up is give yourself a clear line of sight. So when you are attaching trees, maybe like a clear channel through and you can do all the trees either side or if you've got a staging point part way up a hill or something like that, you absolutely can. That's the tree I'm aiming for, that one up there. So do the same thing again here. Set up yard rope, grab that. Let's head up the hill. Hopefully we get up to this one. It will go green, there we go. So, set tree as rope target, circle, and my cable is attached. Now, from where I am already, I don't have to go down to the bottom. If I wanted to, I can leave it where it is for the time being. Where have I got a couple of logs? I've got some here. So, enable carriage follow mod, press L3. The carriage should come up and join me. So there. Disable that again, and let's find our tree. So we should be able to put our cable on that. Actually, I'm going to put it that end, I think. Where was my cut? Can't find my cut point. I'll put it about there. So, attach tree to yarder. Again, I can do... Did I not cut that one at all? Oh, yeah, there's a top section as well. Um, I could probably do a second one as well here. But let me... Oh, no. That's interesting. But, same options then apply. I can move the carriage, raise and lower. That's what I'm going to do first. Just raise that up so it's in a good position. Again, I can either enable it to follow me. Or I can move the carriage manually. Up or down the hill. So if I wanted to take this up to the landing up the top, which absolutely, absolutely I can... If I wanted to bring up to the same landing I can, or down to the bottom I can. Actually, you know what I'm going to do, because that's quite a large one. Let's put that on, enable carriage follow mod. Mode, sorry, mod. I wonder if it will let me pick up another one here. I wonder if that's going to be too heavy. Disable that. Right, so, let's lower that. Tax tree. Okay, let's try that one. Let's go along a little bit further on that one. This is a, a bit larger one now. This has got a three ton lift weight. Uh, what's that? Six meters, 881 kilos. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Right. Let's raise that one up from the top of the landing. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to send it, move carriage to yarder. I love this. This is so cool. It's, it's amazing. Incredible thing. Now, obviously, I don't want to be just dropping that down from there because that would be, you know, bordering on suicide, I would imagine. Do that, and then we can detach the tree. What I'm going to do is follow mod, mode. Why do I keep saying mod? Bring it to here. Right, so let's do detach tree. Attach tree. I love that sound, that clonk of wood. Awesome. All four. Move carriage to yarder. What I love as well, when this was set up, when I did the cable at the top, as you can see down the bottom, the cables, the same as the other one on top of the hill, will find whichever trees or good positions it needs. Be careful. <laughs> if you cut all the trees around it, it will still put, it'll put pegs in the ground if it needs to. Um, where's the one that went out this way? That went out to a tree as well. But again, the level of detail. To get this to work like this, for it to pick the trees, for this, it's just... It's mind-boggling, to a degree. There we go, just going to lay down a little bit better. We'll detach those. Happy with that. Now I can, if I want to, just come around here, and if, once I'm done, remove yard rope, puts everything away, all the cables get brought back in, 
the cable gets detached, we're all good to go. So that's cable yarding. Uphill, using the smaller one, up or downhill, using the larger one. It's fairly straightforward, in, honest, in all honesty, but the, uh, the different abilities you've got, if you're doing a solo operation for it to follow you and do it, to send it back to the yard on its own and you can carry on doing what you want to do, it's, it's amazing, to be fair. The reach of the cables out either side of the main cable is pretty long, so you can do a lot of logging up a steep hillside. Now, this isn't as steep as it gets, obviously. There could be some argument, so why don't you just cut the trees that direction so they fall that way and let them roll down the hill? You absolutely can, of course you can, but you've got other stumps in the way, they might get in the way, it might not work properly. Um, it's another tool to use. So, cable yarding, check. We'll have a quick look at this. So, winching. This is a very brief, like I said, there are various different winches. I haven't actually tried. Hmm, I wonder. I'm just curious now. I don't know, I don't think this is going to work. It might depend on the vehicle. Will the winches, I know this isn't what they're supposed to be used for, will winches winch and tow another vehicle? I don't know if they will. It's worth a try, you never know. So, same thing, pull winch rope, we get to our winch. Bring it to here. Is there anywhere that will attach to? I don't think there is, is there? Release winch trope. There's nothing that's going to hook up to. That's a pity. Nothing on the front either, no. It was worth it. There might be some vehicles that do. You never know. So if we bring this out, we can attach our winch cable, attach the tree. Then what we can do is rather than bring out the other winch cable, that option at the bottom says attach another tree. If I press L3, as long as they're close enough, we're at the max length, that's all right. Can we attach another one? Oh, I've got the yard rope. All right, attach another tree. We've exceeded... Oh, it's going from the main one again, is it? Oh, there we go. We can attach that one. Attach another tree. So at the moment we've got three, and that's off one winch cable. Can I fit another one? Attach another tree. Will it go to that one? No, we've gone far too far now. But that's all right because what we have got. Uh, let's go back to here. If we get the other winch cable, pull winch rope. And we go out to the other two which are here, I can attach that one, attach another tree to that one, and I've got all of those attached to my winch cables. Now, I can either stand into the side here, go R1 and control winch, so from outside I can control the winch. So that's doing that one that side. If I jump over, hopefully this will work. No, oh, that's pulling out. There we go, so that's pulling the other one. So I can do the separate winch cables. <laughs> or we can get into the vehicle if I drive forward now. Obviously the crane's there to help as well. And we can, from in here as well, is it one r one Control winch, left stick side to side. We can bring them in. And drag the whole lot off if you want to. Now, obviously, that's got a little lift bit there as well. If you've got the logs all attached neatly and they sit on that bottom base plate, you can raise and lower that base plate and, you know, it kind of acts like a skidder as well. But that winch system... It's working. And we can let a bit of slack out if we want to. If I go... There we go, let a little bit more out. Just slack off the winch cables a little bit. Might make it a little bit easier. Again, fairly basic look at it. Um, and this is the same as I say this with all mods and mod reviews. People are going to find ingenious ways of being able to tow things. The fact these will attach to logs. If you put a log onto something and was able to strap it down... If you can then attach this to that without interfering with the straps, potentially you could tow something. 
I don't know how well that would work. That would be a bit crazy. But anyway, a guide to an introduction to cable yarders and a little bit of winching. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.